Hola, nuevos amigos. I'm Señorita García. It's good to see you today. Welcome to our lesson on fruits and vegetables. Can you guess what we're doing today? Yes, we're shopping and eating. The verb to eat in Spanish is... Comer. Comer. Say it with me. Comer. Comer means to eat. I am buying fruits and vegetables for Picos and Juanita. Do you remember the verb we learned in our last lesson? Vestir, to dress. Our Nuevos Amigos will sing the Nuevos Amigos verb song. Sing with them using the verbs vestir and comer while I go shopping for some fruits and vegetables. Hola, hola, nos amigos, nos amigos, nos amigos. Hola, hola, nos amigos, hoy vamos a vestir. Vestir, vestir, vestir. Vestir, vestir, vestir. Hola, hola, nos amigos, nos amigos, nos amigos. Hola, hola, nos amigos, hoy vamos a comer. Comer, comer, comer. Comer, comer, comer. Now that I'm back from the market, I'll check my list to be sure I got everything we needed. On my list, I have apples, oranges, grapes, lemons, and bananas. I also have tomatoes, potatoes, and peas. Nuevos amigos, let's go back and say the names of these fruits in Spanish. Apple is manzana. Repeat after me. Manzana. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. Orange is naranja. Repeat after me. Naranja. Excelente. A grape is uva. Let's take a look at an uva. Muy bien. Repeat after me. Uva. Muy bien. Banana is plátano. Repeat after me. Plátano. Excelente. Muy bien. Lemon is... Limón. Repeat after me. Limón. Muy bien. Tomato is... Tomate. Repeat after me. Tomate. Muy bien. Perfecto, nuevos amigos. Potato is... Papa. Repeat after me. Papa. Excelente. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. A P is... Guisante. Let's take a look at the guisante. And we'll be seeing more of this guisante later on. Repeat after me. Guisante. Muy bien. Manzana. Naranja. Uva. Plátano. Limón. Tomate. I needed more than one apple from the market. So instead of buying one apple, I bought two apples. The Spanish word for one apple is manzana. 
and more than one apple is manzanas. Tengo dos manzanas. I have two apples. I also needed more than one banana. Do you remember how to say banana in Spanish? That is plátano. Since I bought six bananas, I would say seis plátanos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis plátanos. Can you see the difference between the words for one item and many items? You add the letter S to make it plural. Plural means more than one or many. Let's do a few more examples, nuevos amigos. One tomato in Spanish is tomate. More than one tomato is tomates. Say it with me, tomates. Excelente. One pea is guisante. Many peas would be guisantes. Repeat after me, guisantes. Nuevos amigos, you are so smart. Good job. Hmm. Peas, guisantes. That reminds me of a fairy tale of a princess and a pea. One little tiny pea. I'm going to read that story to you soon. Now, it's almost time for Picos and Juanita to arrive. We're having a picnic with all these fruits and vegetables. Practicing the plural form of our fruits and vegetables while I get ready. Mazanas. Naranjas. Uvas. Plátanos. Papas, tomates, guisantes. Let's play ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? means what is this? Okay, Juanita. Here we go. ¿Qué es esto, picos? Uh, I know. I know a plátano. No, it's a manzana. Yeah, manzana. You're right, Picos. Good job. Here's the next one. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Ah, uh, I know the answer to this one. These are uvas because uvas are grapes. You got it right, Picos. Great job. Now, what is this one? ¿Qué es esto? Oh, this one's easy. It's a limón. Yes, you got it right, Picos. Very good. Now, let me ask you a question, Juanita. Okay, Picos. I've been paying close attention to Señorita Garcia. I should know the answers. Okay. ¿Qué es esto, Juanita? Oh, my. Uh, these are called guisantes, right? Yes, you're right, Juanita. Very good. Okay. Here's the next one. ¿Qué es esto? Those are tomatoes. The Spanish word for tomatoes is tomates. I know I'm right, aren't I, Picos? <laughs> yes, Juanita, you're right. All right, let's try one more, okay? Okay. ¿Qué es esto? Do any of you boys and girls know the answer to this one? Papa. 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 That's a funny word. Papa, 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 papa. <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita, picos, es tiempo para comer. It's time to eat. I hope you like fruits and vegetables. Hola, señorita Garcia. Hola, Juanita. Where's Picos? Um, here he comes now. 
now. Hola, Senorita Garcia. Hola, picos. Ooh, I like fruit. Me gustan las frutas. And I like vegetables. Me gustan los vegetales. Did you know that when you say that you like something in Spanish, you would say... Me gusta. Repeat after me. Me gusta. Me gusta. For instance, me gusta comer. I like to eat. And when you say you like more than one thing, such as many kinds of vegetables, you would say... Me gustan. With an N sound at the ending. Repeat after me. Me gustan. Me gustan. For example, me gustan los vegetales. I like vegetables. Pickles, why don't we sing that song, me gustan? Good idea. Me gustan los vegetales, me gustan los vegetales, me gustan los vegetales y las frutas también. Manzanas, naranjas, uvas y limón, papas y tomates, guisantes y un montón. Oh, that was great. Let's sing it again. And all of our nuevos amigos can sing along with us, too. Me gustan los vegetales, me gustan los vegetales, me gustan los vegetales y las frutas también. Manzanas, naranjas, uvas y limón, papas y tomates, guisantes de un montón. That was great! <laughs> Muy bien, very good. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. Let's eat. Vamos a comer. Manzana. Naranja. Uvas. Plátano. Papá. Tomate. Guisantes. Learning about fruits and vegetables today has been so much fun, nuevos amigos. Now it's time for our review. Let's see how much we have learned. Our verb for today was comer, which means to eat. We learned the names of fruits like manzana, naranja, plátano, uvas, y limón. We also learned the names of vegetables like papas, guisantes, y tomates. We also learned that when you like one thing in Spanish, you would say, me gusta. And when you like more than one thing, you would say, me gustan. Thank you for joining us today, nuevos amigos. We'll see you next time. And remember, when you learn to speak another language, you also make new friends. Adios, hasta luego. Thank <laughs> you.